A question that comes up every once in a while is how to add to a pre-existing mask with selections. In this example, we have our base image and then a mask of our sky that is being affected by a vibrance adjustment. The mask is changing the hue currently so we can see the differences. Let's say we want to add the clouds in our image to the mask that contains the sky. How would we do this? Well, for starters, we need to reintroduce our selection. If I right click my mask, I can see that there is a button to add a mask to a selection. This means that we can make a selection of the clouds and then we can add the mask we have to that selection. So, I'm going to select the clouds using the brush selection tool. And I'm actually gonna speed this process up because it's not vital to understanding this effect whatsoever. After the fact, after the selection has been made, and a reminder that you can navigate to select from the menu bar and change your selection overlay. I always, always use selection highlighted instead of marching ants. Once the selection has been made, you can right click the mask and add mask to selection. What this will do is it gives you a brand new active selection that includes the sky on top of the clouds that you've already selected. What we must do now in order to make a new mask is delete our old one. I'll click this remove mask button underneath the mask properties. Note that the mask itself needs to still be selected. Once the mask is removed, you can see that my vibrance effect is now being applied to the whole image. With our selection still active, let's click the mask button, which will create a brand new mask for us that incorporates our old one and the newly selected area. From here, we can now deselect. And you can see that our vibrance effect is now applied to both our clouds and our sky. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. And most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.